students uh, today uh, we'll discuss about uh, what are the multiple alleles you know in the in the last lecture in certain lecture i told you people that there are there are uh, uh, two alleles for uh, for controlling a character one comes from father and the other comes from the mother okay Suppose this uh, is a chromosome pair. We suppose that it is it is a chromosome number five. Okay. Now here should be present uh, here should be present a locus here and here. Okay. And uh, and that locus that locus carries uh, certain 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 gene. Okay. And uh, one form of that gene comes from the comes from father, along with this chromosome, and the other comes from the mother, along with the, this chromosome. Okay. Now, there are certain you know all the chromosomes are are present in the form of pairs in our body. Okay, just starting from chromosome number one to chromosome number uh, twenty three. Okay. But uh, there is a, a case uh, of what multiple alleles in which, in which more than more than two alleles are found for controlling a certain trait. Okay, those are known as what multiple alleles. Okay, may I tell you people what is the what is the allele? Allele is actually the partner of a gene pair a gene pair is function always uh, known to be functional when it is found in the pair form you know as i have as i have mentioned all the chromosomes are present in the form of pairs so genes should also be present in the form of the pairs so this is one gene this is another gene this gene is allele of this gene and this gene is allele of this gene mind it okay so allele is nothing but a gene and that uh, and that is actually the partner of the other gene okay so uh, now if if here is present suppose this is now chromosome number nine on chromosome number nine more than two more than two i mean three alleles are found okay let's come to the discovery of these alleles now and it's, uh, uh, let us let us uh, discuss the background how they were discovered okay come on uh, when, as I have told you people the definition when uh, a trait is controlled by more than two alleles they are called multiple alleles okay one what is the background of this discovery uh, in in 18 uh, 1890 and 1895 uh, or so the medical science the people uh, concerned with the medical science they started the blood transfusion to save the lives of the people okay Sometimes the transfusion brought into life certain patients and in other cases when the blood was transfused uh, that happened that blood under the Banda Jalandar okay what happened uh, I mean when the blood was transfused the reaction occurred and the, the, the patient died forthwith okay what was the reason of of those deaths in 1901 Karl Landsteiner Karl Landsteiner he discovered that our uh, the, our uh, 
erythrocytes are the red blood cells they have they carry certain molecules and those are actually the blood antigens okay blood antigens you know are the are the mucopolysaccharides okay uh, glycoproteins and those are found on the plasma membrane of erythrocytes are red blood cells see here is uh, suppose this is uh, this is i have drawn here to save the time this is this is your erythrocyte this is a blood vessel blood vessel this is what erythrocyte this is red blood corpuscle okay these are known as erythrocytes you know already Carl Lenstina, he discovered that there are certain antigens present on the erythrocytes and he, he discovered that there are three types of the antigens present on the, uh, two types of the antigens are present, present on these uh, blood cells. Either, either antigen A, a blood a blood cell may have antigen A, or antigen B, or antigen A, B, both are no antigen. If there were no antigens, that was known as zero or O blood group. This was A blood group, A B blood group, A B blood group, and O blood group. So he classified the blood groups into four types on the basis of presence or absence or, or co presence of uh, the blood antigens on the erythrocytes. Afterwards, in uh, in uh, 1925 in 1925 this is the story in 1901 okay uh, Karl Karl Lenstiner and here is the story what uh, Bernstein he discovered what the genes on chromosome number 9, the genes present on chromosome number 9. He discovered that uh, uh, here is suppose chromosome number 9, okay, and if uh, the blood antigen A is present on, uh, on, the, on the chromosome which has come from father and the A antigen which has come from mother, the, the individual would be what? Individual would be what? Individual would be, his blood group would be what? Blood group A. Blood group A. Okay. If the individual has one one gene or one allele which has come from father or mother uh, carrying carrying uh, the control of the control of antigen a uh, and the other has no more okay that was uh, depicted as what by small i and this was as capital R, capital IA. I means isoimmunoglobulin. Okay, well, <clears throat> our immunoglobulin. Well, small i means no antigen. So no antigen and antigen. It is heterozygous condition and the individual would have what, what blood group? A. If 
the individual has the antigen B allele and antigen B allele from mother and father. He or she would have he or she would have blood group B. Okay. If he or she has one one allele one allele having no more production no more control of antigen then he or she the individual would have the antigen production on on the erythrocytes and he or she would be having blood group b so uh, two things you must you must keep in mind two things one that blood group a and blood group B or AB or O, they have nothing to do. They have no more relationship. They have no more link with the gender or the sex of the individual. Right? Uh, one thing. And second is that if the individual has one dose of antigen controlling, antigen producing allele, either from mother or from father he or she would have the production of what antigens if the individual has one allele one allele from mother having uh, uh, having what capital I B and one from either parent capital IA individual would be what I think you should have known this something now individual would be what AB blood group would be AB okay and this phenomenon is known as co-dominance mind it capital I capital IA is dominant over small i allele capital i b is dominant over small i allele and small i allele mind it does not produce any type of the antigens okay and capital i b and capital i a they 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 produce the antigens antigen a antigen b both on the plasma membrane of the erythrocytes so this phenomenon is known as codominance taken now the fourth blood group this is third one okay the fourth blood group is when the first parent or any parent mother or father uh, contributes small i allele and the second parent i mean the mother or father she or he also contributes what the small i allele what will happen the individual would be individual would be producing no more antigen at all no antigen so that individual would have the condition like this without antigens okay and the and the individual's phenotype would be what? No antigen. Okay, no antigen. And the individual's phenotype would be what? Phenotype would be blood group O. O means what? Zero. No antigens production. Okay, now. Uh, if the individual has blood group O he or she that individual would have the antibodies against antigen A and antigen B these are the antibodies so here in this case 
the anti antibodies against antigen A and antigen B should be present. Okay. If this individual is transfused the blood carrying antigen A or antigen, uh, antigen B, what will happen? The agglutination reaction would occur and the patient would die. Taken the point? Now, if the individual has capital I A or small I or capital I, this individual, you know, would be would have would have the blood group what? It this individual, you know, as I as already I have told you people, this would be blood group A. If the blood group is A, antigen A should be present. Antigen A should be present. Here are the antigens A. Okay. The antibodies against these antibodies against what antigen B would be present because this is the house of this blood is the house of antigen A. So against antigen B antibodies should be present. Taken. And if the blood group is, if the blood group is B, this is say B, here if, if for small i allele is present or capital, capital I B is present, the individual would be having, having blood group B. And now suppose I, I, I show these uh, antigen antigens as uh, through this sign. Now antibodies against antigen A would be present in the blood. If blood group A carrying antigen A is transfused to that individual, the agglutination reaction would occur, the individual would die. On the other hand, if the individual has blood group O, uh, sorry, AB, then you can transfuse the blood group B, you can transfuse the blood group A, and even you can transfuse the blood group O, because O has no more antigens. So, uh, let us summarize it. Uh, who, can, who can donate the blood group to whom? Uh, this is suppose uh, donor, donor's blood, okay, and this is the recipient. Uh, if the donor is A, he or she can donate the blood to, to whom? To A and to a, B. Okay. If the donor is B, he can donate the blood to A, B and to B. If the donor is A, B, he can only transfuse the blood to A, B. No more else. What well, you can understand now, I have told you people already. If the donor is uh, O, he can donate the blood to O, to A, to B, and to AB. So this is the reason that in ABO blood group system, in ABO blood group system, the O is known as universal donor. He can donate or she can donate the blood to O, A, B, and AB. Right? So now you should have understood who can donate the blood to uh, blood to whom. Okay, and uh, the blood group ABO is uh, also uh, used for uh, for determination of paternity of the individuals along with the other blood groups. M and blood group system is also used, and RH system is also used along with that one. 
and uh, if the dispute is not solved then what happens then uh, the 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 uh, PCR is carried out okay I think uh, you should have understood well if you have understood it uh, in a big way then you must you must what subscribe this channel if you are new one if you have liked it prove it through your thumb okay I mean you must you must uh, press the like button and if you if you like it if you are a sincere person you must send this uh, you must share this uh, video to your friends thank you very much